de Leila ofrece me bufaga. Leila, oh Leila, Leila, es y tu Leila. Perico y chame tu chise, milena aquela. Hello there, welcome to another episode of Let's Cook with Shanaz. My name is Shanaz, I'm glad to be in your presence today. I hope you enjoyed our previous cooking episode. Remember, everyone is asking for something different. I'm from Guyana, but I enjoy a variety of dishes. I love Filipino food, I love Thai food, and yes, guacamole. Where is guacamole from? I believe it's a Spanish dish. And today is my very, very first attempt in making an avocado salad. I love guacamole, but what, what is the difference between guacamole and an avocado salad? A slight difference, and I want some grilled chicken in my avocado salad, so let's go. Let's take a look at what we need. Simple, basic things that could make 20 minutes to 30 minutes in the kitchen a gourmet dish, starting from scratch. Well, I have some chopped pineapple because I love to munch. When you're cooking, you have to get something healthy to eat. It'll keep you away from the food that you're actually preparing. And I love listening to music, so I have some music in the background. And for our avocado salad, I have avocados from Mexico. Now this is very tricky, right? It's very tricky to buy an avocado. Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it rotten? Because most of the time when we get into it, it's rotten. It's brown. I don't like my avocados brown. I like them crispy green, maybe between green and yellow. So here we have, we're cooking for three today, right? So we have three avocados. Uh, lemon juice is the key. A bunch of parsley some tomatoes, colorful tomatoes, because colorful, colorful food is very healthy, it's very good for you. And a pinch of my secret ingredient that I have never seen someone cooking with it as yet. And onions. Did you make your avocados and your guacamole with onions? Well, I do. And there it is, a little bit of olive oil to drizzle on top. Simple ingredients for a 30 minute meal at home because everyone is working these days. We have a busy, busy lifestyle. And when you get home, you want to be in something comfortable. So you make yourself comfortable and wash everything. The first thing I do when I'm in, coming to the kitchen, wash my hands, wipe the countertop, and wash everything that I have to prepare. First rule of thumb. And what are we making? Well, well here I have one half of a chicken breast marinated earlier because I love flavors and I use Mrs. Dash just a splash of Mrs. Dash on my chicken breast and I'll put it into the pot while well, it's steaming hot because we forgot we have the pot on and we were talking but I can't cook the chicken breast without a drizzle of olive oil What we have there is just half of a chicken breast marinated with a splash of Mrs. Dash, some salt and some black pepper. And it's smelling very nice, very herb, because I love herbs. So I'll be, I guess, lightly fried it on both sides. Then it's the topping for our avocado salad. A little bit of meat because protein is very healthy. So let's get chopping. What am I chopping first? I think the avocado I'll be chopping first.
what do we eat from the avocado? We eat the flesh. This is just the seed. And I have a friend, she was very young at one time when we went picking avocados and she had no idea how to eat the avocado. So she peeled it with the knife and then she threw away everything and she kept the seed. And she was just looking at this very weird, like how am I supposed to eat this? So am I supposed to chop it? And I said, no, you throw away the most valuable asset. Omega-3 is very good because it's, avocados are very high in omega-3. It's sizzling. I'll give it another two minutes on this side as I like my meat brown. And I saw a post earlier on Facebook which had me questioning. I know I'm from the West Indians, right? But West Indies folks are accustomed to washing their meat, whether you're washing chicken or any kind of poultry, you wash it with a little bit of vinegar. We just don't take it out of a package and put it in a pot. It's not our style. But there was a big dilemma on Facebook as to how you prepare your meal and how do you prepare your vegetables. And some folks said, I don't like to get my fingers dirty. I just take it out of the pot, the package, and toss it in the pot. Please wash your meat because you don't know who's handling it in the food market. Wash your meat with vinegar or some lemon and fish also is very healthy but you have to prepare the right way. Sometimes the way you wash your meat and your fishes, it smells or it tastes funny. Wash it properly and all that rank smell and taste will be gone. We are making something easy, light, but healthy. Avocado salad. The main ingredient, of course, is the avocados. And we're using the Mexican baby avocado because Sometimes you get a ch it's a luck and chance buying these avocados. Sometimes you buy a big avocado and the whole thing is rotten. But if you buy smaller ones, you, ch you tend to have two out of three. So guys, what I have in here is just three Mexican avocados, a chop, half of a parsley, half of an onion, and some tomatoes. Very colorful tomatoes because colors is very attractive and it tastes good too. I'm going to incorporate this. I see onions and I love red onions in salads. I feel like eating your health is your wealth. So start eating healthy today. forgot the chicken but it's not it's still very well done brown on both sides okay, and this is where the big knives come in I love the music we have in the background folks remember you could listen to me live on radio every Thursdays 9 to 11 p.m. on Guyana Tunes. They play music. We bust tunes and I'm live every Thursday. I have some regular viewers that enjoys my program and keep sending me all day beautiful songs to play for them. And I got the seedless lemons. I didn't know Guyana have seedless lemons. I 
And what is my secret ingredient? I have a lot of salads, but no one uses black pepper. So I'll put a splash of black pepper. Because I love everything hot. I think we're listening to some gazelle music. It is Guy in the Tunes Radio. We are on 24 7. All right, some folks do not like their salad squishy. So for those of you who love squishing up your salads, my friend hand these to me. And it was easier because it helped me break down the avocados, but I'll go back to my towels. I don't like my salad squishy. And it looks like it's ready to serve. grilled chicken while chicken done on top of the stove, stove top chicken. Looks healthy, it's time to eat. Thank you for watching. Let's cook with Shanaz. We have lots more coming up. You never know who will be in our kitchen. Let's cook with Shanaz. I always try to get some more information about the food I'm eating and the benefits, the health benefits behind what we're eating because what you put in makes your skin and your body feel the difference. What are some good nutrition value that we have in avocados? Well, it's full of vitamin K. And who knew it had more potassium in avocados than it does in bananas? Who knew? I think Kenny told me that. It's full of folate, vitamin B5, and vitamin E. Well, all these things are very good. And I know avocado is very good as a conditioner for my hair sometimes, and a facial mask if I'm home. I'm lazy, I get an avocado and I put it on my face and it's very scary. Do not open the door if you have an avocado mask on because you will scare your neighbors. I did that before. So you can use avocados on your hair as a conditioner, you can use it as a face mask. And yeah, sometimes my face looks bright, sometimes it looks very dull. Get enough sleep, you all need it. No matter how hard we work, sleep is very important, a good night rest. And eating healthy. I heard Guyana Chews have some really good music, so we'll put the music up, we'll get our drinks out, and time to eat some avocado salad. Hey, it seems like we're almost done. As I always said, cook with something comfortable. Wear something comfortable because you can move around in it. And hey, I am wearing my favorite shirt, the Caribbean Voice shirt. I'm proud to say I'm the one of the vice president for Caribbean Voice a campaign that's doing fantastic in Guyana. When it comes to educating our youngsters about suicide, we are there. We're giving classes in each village. It's called Training the Trainee. So we have trainees that's training an entire village, one village at a time. Want to make everyone aware of the signs and, you know, signs of alcoholism, domestic violence, suicide. You shouldn't be thinking of suicide. And if you know someone is, please reach out to the Caribbean Voice, we're here to help and we're making a lot of difference. Last year, Car Guyana was rated number one for suicide. Right now, it's number four going to number five because we're doing a lot of hard work in Guyana. And if you want to know more, add us on Facebook, The Caribbean Voice. Follow me on Instagram, WhatsApp, or Facebook. Shanaz Hussein, let's cook, let's eat, and let's be merry. Life is very short to be worried. And let's appreciate the ones we have around us because everyone can contribute to a better world. Until next time, let's start eating our avocado salad. And I have some West Indian drinks. It's your favorite drink from Guyana Cream Soda, as famous as the Kaichor Falls, Tom Tom Ginger Beer. And some folks love banana soda. Well, these are imported from Guyana. It's a Tom Tom brand. Let's get eating.
I have my keys lying around is because I know I will need it for my refreshing beverage. We should make every day fun, so get involved, cook with your family, get someone that you love in the kitchen and your food will be full of love, especially if you're coming home, husband and wife, younger couple, older couple, get in the kitchen together, it goes super fast, many hands make light work and both of you will enjoy a delicious meal. Well, bon appetit, until next time, follow me and let's cook in your kitchen soon. Suicide prevention is everybody's business. Be involved and notice if you notice someone in need of help, reach out to us. We urge you that.